I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read a story called A Picture Book of George Washington. Okay, I'm going to read you the story. A Picture Book of George Washington. Okay, let's read it. George Washington was born on February 22nd, 1732, in a simple various farmhouse. At that time, Virginia was an English con colony. Young George liked to fish and go boating. He watched ships that sailed past the nearby river, but most of, mo but most of all, he liked to ride his horse. George learned to read and write in school. He practiced his handwriting by copying lists of rules such as keep your fingers clean and think before you speak. But his favorite subject was arithmetic. Arithmetic. When George was eleven, he when he jo when George was eleven, his father died. George helped his mother run their farm and watch his younger sister and brothers. One day, George found some surveying tools that had been belonged to his father. He used them to measure and map a turnip field in a pine forest. He liked surveying. At 16, George was very tall and looked much older. He was given a job surveying land in the Virginia wilderness. In 1753, when George Washington was 21, he joined the during the army, he rode to the Ohio Valley to warn the French to get off England land, English land. In 1754, uh, the French and Indian War began. George Washington fought on the side of the England. He led Virginia soldiers against the French. George was known as a brave and good leader throughout the 13 Ameri American colonies. When George was 26, he fell in love with Martha Curtis. He was, and she was a wealthy widow with two children. They married and moved to Mount Vernon, Vernon, the genius home and farm which once belonged to George's brother. The English won their long war against the French. King George III of England wanted the American colonies to help pay the cost of the war, so he taxed them. American colonists refused to pay the taxes. In Boston, colonists dumped tea into the harbor rather than paying the tax on it. So there are many folks in this happy, the Boston Tea Party. In April 1775, fighting between England and her American colonies began near Boston, at Lancaster and at Concord, Massachusetts. One month later, leaders, leaders of the 13 colonies met in Philadelphia. George Washington was chosen to lead the colon, the Continental Army. Often, there were not enough uniforms, boots, blankets, and guns for George Washington's soldiers. The war lasted eight years. George Washington and the, and the army fought bravely. In 1783, when the American colonists won the war, George Washington was a hero. The 13 colonies became 13 states. They joined together and formed the governments, but it was weak. In 1787, a new government was formed with a Congress, a Supreme, a Supreme Court, and a President. George Washington was the best known, most loved leader in America. He was elected the first President of the United States of America in 1789. He was re-elected re in 1792. President George Washington signed treaties with the Indians, Spain, and England. There was a war in Europe, but George Washington kept the United States out of it. When some farmers in Pennsylvania refused to pay tax on the whiskey, George Washington sent soldiers to force the farmers to obey the law. In 1797, after eight years as president, George Washington returned to his home at Mount Vernon. Each morning, he rode across his farm, his large farm, on horseback. Sometimes, he often rode 50 miles north of Mount Vernon to watch the building of the new city. It would be the capital of the United States, and it would be named after him. He would, it would be called Washington. 
when in 1799 George Washington became ill and died. He was 67 years old. George Washington was a great leader. He has been called the father of our country. It has been said that George Washington was first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. So it's a short book of George Washington. And I'm going to read you a story called, oh, there's another book about Abraham Lincoln. I think it's a series, series book, a picture book, I don't know. Oh, and there are many stories about Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Barack Obama. Oh, so many other people. Why am I just much on my socks uh, but today i'm going to read your story called george washington's wife who the george washington fell in love with so i thought the name was martha washington she is this is she martha Zoom washington in. Martha Washington was the first lady of the United States. Martha was the first woman to have the role. She was an example for future first ladies of the life. Martha was born on June 2nd, 1731. She grew up on a plantation. plantation. Her mother taught her to read and write. This was a news of her girl at this time. Later, Martha's first husband died. She then married George Washington in 1789. Uh, uh, 59. Later, the Revolutionary War, 17, 1775 to 1783, began. George led the colonial army. George was general. Martha left him at the, at the army camp during the winter. She helped wines support their husbands who were fighting. In 1789, George Washington became the first U.S. president. Martha became the first lady. There was no White House. The first family lived in New York, then later moved to Philadelphia. 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 Martha knew future little ladies would follow her example. She hosted gatherings. Both low workers and ordinary citizens were invited. Martha was known for becoming, being welcoming. She made all the guests feel comfortable. Martha showed them that they were important in the new government. Legacy. The Washingtons left office in 1797. They moved back to their farm in Virginia. Martha died on May 2nd. May 22nd, 9, 18, and so, uh, 1800, so, he, she and her husband are remembered for shaping a new country. Okay, so today I read a story about George Washington and her wife, Martha Washington. Okay. Oh, Michelle Obama, Nancy Reagan, George Washington, and Nellie Nutcraft, Donald Trump, Benjamin, oh, Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin was a writer and inventor. Is that the son of George? Harmonic tales. Is that funny saving? Some of them became famous. Again, George Washington and Nancy was a was an amazing history maker. The American colonies wanted to be free from Britain. And Franklin tried to keep the peace by war broke out. Franklin supported the colonies. He got the French to help him fight. Franklin helped create the Declaration of Independence. The, col the colonists soon became free. He worked, he worked on the U.S. Constitution. Legacy. Franklin worked to help people. He shared his many inven inventions. He worked to prove the city. Franklin became
became very famous on April 17, 1790. He died. Many people celebrated the Friday. Ten people celebrated they were coming to the church. Okay, so today I had just story story, George, the picture book of George Washington. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.